Alrighty. So, um, I'm gonna do a quick game. Well, maybe not even a quick game. A normal game of Endless Space. This is an 4x game. Basically, stuff flying in space, uh, spaceships, space management. The uh, game is very, very similar to Master of Orion. You can see this is the Steam page. The game is getting released uh, in about 16 hours, 4th of July. Uh, yeah, you can take a look at it. It is single multiplayer, so the game is very, very, na very, very good. I'm a big fan been playing through alpha and beta so uh, let's get into the game so we can actually take a look how it goes all right we are here now we yeah, and there's a lot of different stuff uh, I'm not gonna really go through any details at least not now might uh, go more in details once I uh, get any questions if anyone has any questions just yeah, feel free to leave them if you will end up on YouTube so do feel free uh, to comment if you have any questions so moving on let's see what we get home system yes tiny tundra arctic no exploitation first mm -hmm. okay let's see we have a red giant uh, red giant binary protostar protostar but we'll make the best out of it there are quite a few bugs right now so not all the heroes actually are fully functional there we go next turn There's an optimal planet as well. I'm gonna settle on this one. Yes, uh, three turns. Uh, we have suboptimal heroes and horsemen. Got a bit unlucky on the hero roll. Offensive heroes, there's 
No. No single one that texts me. That actually can do. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, the adventure heroes are a bit bugged right now. Um, so I'm gonna just unfortunately go with the fleet commander and hope for the best outcome. Really? games few first turns not that much happens so mainly just clicking through ah, this is basically the galaxy I did set it on a huge galaxy with a lot of systems so this will be a longer game which I will probably just go on with along with my uh, civilization thing actually although we'll see how it will go this is more of a uh, demonstration of uh, the game at least from my side uh, and we shall go a bit weaponary so any interest people will be able to see this won't be a long game and I probably will not finish it uh, I will start a brand new one uh, with the release candidate but I wanted to make a really short one show what the game is more or less about. I'll probably not be able to show all the features in this playthrough but I will certainly play uh, the really live version and hopefully more people will get infected by in this space and uh, I will be streaming uh, multiplayer matches as well because this this game has multiplayer matches and they are they're actually quite interesting they could be better right now but I'm really looking forward to see what they will come up with in the live version I'll probably play around 100 turns maybe less S to see what happens really need to get lucky with planets resources uh, nope nope and that's a nope nope on everything try taking it though Quadrant done. 
one. done a short let's play on my YouTube channel as well with a different race system um it is interesting although i would like to see uh, the ability to play the cards on a shorter basis basis when you do auto i would uh, give an additional window and make the phases last i don't know five seconds so you just pick a card you see the opponent's card when you both pick a card the phase starts five seconds and then five seconds so yeah because now the fights last I don't know they I think it's 90 seconds I think or 60 seconds unless yeah if you go all the rounds but other than that yeah, well, the camera got improved in the last patch and the battles look slightly better, but the combat system overall has its merits, but also has its downsides. And it's really, uh, actually, opinions vary from person to person, but their the general idea is there should be an ability to skip the whole flare of the battle and just click auto or manual battle without the uh, cinematic view so you can uh, just go on ahead from battle to battle because when you click auto the AI does not always play uh, at it well it never really plays at its best and the outcome was rarely favorable unless you have a huge advantage over uh, the enemy fleet some more movement so I have no idea how it will look on release there are I don't think amplitude released uh, notes I haven't checked the forums actually might be new uh, release notes already but yeah the game uh, According to Steam, goes live uh, well in 16 hours. So uh, let me take a quick look while I just try to figure out what's going on. Ah, how long? Three turns. I can just buy this off. I should have bought it earlier. Mm, congratulations! I don't. End this space. I don't see any release notes. Yeah, I don't think there are any release notes for uh, the live version. So, well, I'm really interested to see what they come up with. 
because uh, so far when I tried to I, I unfortunately did a uh, let's play on YouTube and uh, it got broken by a patch so the game became really unplayable at some point due to uh, well you mainly do it actually it didn't break but uh, no one apparently we have I started the whole discussion on the forums and no one apparently used uh, one of the hero abilities and it generated a bug where you actually lost your income and it went nowhere and that uh, yeah became really really because of that it became unplayable unfortunately so and they did some nice balancing changes the difficulty actually increased by quite a bit as well so I'm really looking forward to the next 12 16 hours I'm not sure if I'll be able to stream uh, when it's freshly out but what do we have here? Let's just Let's add it. Uh, no, thank you. That one had the. Uh, okay, that those two. So. We'll see, we'll see. I'm looking forward to what's, what comes out of it. Uh, there are quite a few things uh, that. Uh, yeah, people will get at it in the live version. I do. Piece. Okay. And when did I meet them? I didn't even notice that I met them. You're not doing anything. They're making more science. Irritated. Nope. Tiny added. Nope. Hmm. Interesting. I didn't even notice. Wouldn't I'd be surprised if it's still a bug. <laughs> Quite a few of those still around. And, uh, yeah. There's a few of us on the forums that are actually doing some bug hunting as well during our gameplays. So. Okay, yep. Mm -hmm. yeah, there they are. So I'm apparently. Should be probably somewhere in this area. Okay, colonize uh, this one, my new titanium. There are a few exploits right now as well, or well, exploits, unfinished <laughs> things, like for instance, uh, I don't really understand how th this works, yeah, the uh, first tier weapons need a special resource, but the others don't, you just research something in first tier and second tier and you can just build without resources I seriously hope that's gonna get fixed uh, 155 okay okay it's gonna be built in one turn seriously hope that's gonna get fixed in the uh, release version because it makes absolutely no sense <laughs> oh, no, no, do, do, do. Yeah, okay, so, uh, that was, yeah, mm, Arctic planets opened up, alrighty then, where's the, yeah, they are still okay, yeah, that one was not really that good, this Arctic, work. Let's get me down. Fourteen turns. And let's go this way first. Let's 
every 17 turns, okay? If I keep, uh, keep, keep, keep research up, tiny arctic, it's gonna probably be a... Okay, we can switch around for production this one. This one can switch as well. Production. Yep. Uh, yeah, this one needs to stay for a few turns. Mm -hmm. Ah, this is a nice one. Huge added. This is a nice system. And there were oh, actually I remember quite a lot of requests about uh, being able to zoom in uh, seamlessly into systems. But I'm not sure if that's gonna happen anytime soon. Well, I have, yeah, that increases the whole immersion in game and uh, helps people get more into. Science, 11 ticks and outpost. Yeah, this one is at an instance. Heal you. It's going to be minus. Uh, it's going to be 60. 57%. And uh, no, I need to get the approval buildings before I focus. Uh, yeah, yeah, I do. Well, from what I can see in beta, with this build, the latest one, it's already way better than sort of of uh, so sort of the starts was. So uh, this guy will. So it's already turning out to be much better with you marketing than sort of the source. Yeah. Yeah. It is. So we're already step ahead. <laughs> At least one if not twenty compared to what was happening with sort of the stars because uh, as far as I remember that that game did not have half of the features they promised uh, stuff was disabled and here you actually have what they promised and they are simply working on improvements right now at least from what I saw on the uh, forums and on all that crap so there are a few minor bugs but fortunately there was a there is a group of us on the forums that uh, do some serious bug hunting and uh, provide the devs with direct input. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's true. Uh, let ooh, small ocean. That might work well. Okay, colony ship. Uh, what was it? This one? This one. Yeah, but uh, I really like the fact that you can, thanks to the both alpha and beta, you can actually uh, see the progress, the stuff they do, and that's uh, 
it's becoming more and more common right now. Aurora waves, Aurora waves, oops, yeah, minus, minus signs. So, I really like that and it's becoming more and more popular to basically uh, release games way, way early. And simply let people do alpha and beta testing. And it works, well, in my opinion, in most cases. Well, this is basically similar to Kickstarter, but I don't think Endless Space was on Kickstarter. I saw it all. I only saw it on Steam, and I basically bought it on day one. Really, but I think it might have been on Kickstarter. But yeah, that, that's that's the whole initiative, and yeah, well, why not? Yeah, right, right. That's that's where it started at, and uh, it's it's good. There's uh, yeah, quite a few uh, titles. Yeah, I'm I would not mind paying for or yeah, crowd testing because they get the money. They get little less money than they would normally but they get free testing so in the end they actually earn more than they would because yeah I've been promoting this game since May on via various media yeah uh, I think they did a count and the forums itself 20 50,000 people so that's 50,000 copies already sold, if not more. So that's just uh, crazy. Great for them. I'm happy for them. <laughs> I think Stephanie on the forums wrote somewhere 20,000 20, at least, if not 50. I don't want to overshot it, but I would not be surprised that... Uh, yeah, that's that's that many. I believe there's two. Ooh, pirates! In pirates go squish. Uh, yeah, maybe I can escape. Yeah, and this part is a little annoying. I I would like to go. Well, I would like. I would like to see a retreat button. Cause I can retreat only from this screen. Because there's auto manual and I would like to see a retreat button because you just play a card and that doesn't matter. They can just do it in game back backstage basically happening. So I don't know if if it's because the retreat card can be apparently countered or not. I don't know how it works exactly. I don't know the mechanics behind that. So. But yeah the battles look quite interesting, especially when you have lots and lots of ships. Yeah, and the hero dies, yeah. Oh, gets injured. So... Why are you still here? Thought I moved you. Yeah, but the yeah the game has a quite a few dedicated players. So we'll be doing some multiplayer as well. Unfortunately, multiplayer right now is a little bit. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but this is uh, this is normal, so it's not a big issue. Normal? Or did I? I don't know if I went normal or hard. One of those stupid, so it's not really a big issue. But yeah, with uh, United Empire, yeah, you get a lot of that crap. Gents up actually. In favor. Yeah, I didn't get the administration hero, so I'm a little bit behind on production. Done. Yeah, two turns. This is the. This is a great tech. Ah, uh, 
so overpowered early on. Yeah, I have Tritanium. Which mine? Yeah, I have it. I'll take it. Okay. Just upgrade this one. Make a few of those. Did delay it by one turn. Did it? It's gonna be turn. Yep, no, it didn't. That's okay. Thought it would get delayed. Ooh, what's. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, I'm still getting used to the. Uh, I've not played the United Empire in quite a while and their mechanics changed in the last patch and they are actually quite strong, I just don't know how to play them. <laughs> the basic is you can just buy almost everything that on first turn. So that's quite cool. It's <laughs> no science at all. Um, I can live with that for a while, but I need to get some extra approval. Now, I'm wondering how much it will, it will cost. 500. Or five turns. Well, yeah, you can change. So, um, me and magnetic field, and go back to making some more science. <laughs> okay, that's two ships. Is my scout stuck or? Because of those pirates. Because I don't see it moving. Mm. Ah no. That's okay. Those pirates were there. Ah there's there they are. Friendly. And I guess you like what they did to the diplomacy with the AI it's They are much more prone to keep peace if they are a good race, if the race alignment is good, so, because I believe they had Sulfons, Amoeba, I think Pilgrims as well, so it's more race dependent, now which race dependent, now which, which is quite nice. You, you, uh, seven turns. Uh, I still have one, two I can buy. We have 500, I'll be able to buy that in a few turns. Mm, 49, 38. 
Yeah, that's the sweet spot. 30%. Accept. So fun. Yeah, the only bug right now. Huge bug. Yeah. The only huge bug right now is you cannot trade text with the AI because the AI does not put any value on text. Which sucks. And it sucks hard because yeah, you could just beeline for something then trade it as well for the lower level tax lower tier tax but right now the only thing the AI values is uh, resources so yeah I hope it that was full that was fixed yeah they they broke it when they introduced a new diplomacy system so yeah, you can trade planets, and it's, well, mainly mm, for, uh, well, you can still buy tech of them with uh, resources, but uh, they are not willing to trade tech. Well, not, not really not willing, they simply put no value. Maybe I can, can I, maybe I can show it to you. I don't have that uh, the necessary tech uh, to exchange technology. So, uh, but yeah, just simply when you put the a uh, technology in the in the uh, diplomacy window, yeah, they don't put any value to it. There's that slider on top; it doesn't move. So that's broken as hell. Five hundred and five, and we got okay. This one finished. This one's almost done. This one's almost done. Why, 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 why? Hello, move. Scout, scout. Okay, so that means that there is a connection between those two. But. Forge knuckle. Uh, so it would do which the uh, improvement magnetic field generators. Uh, it gives forty. Uh, that's called here dust science. Well, basically just science. That's uh, forty science. Which at this point is just crazy, because <laughs> it <laughs> quadruples. Yeah, I normally would get 12, and I get 40 from that improvement. So that's a that's a very very important tech you go for. Very the sooner you get it, the better it is. So hanger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we're gonna lose the system if I don't move the chain. Assigned to fleet. Okay, random event. Yes! How lovely! Minus 50 movement. Four ships. That sucks. Yeah, and now basically I'm generating twice as much where I did, I did 70. No, now I'm doing 160. So it gives you a huge, huge boost. their home system. Better keep moving. Let me see how are we doing score wise. Oh. 
We're doing actually quite bad. <laughs> Yeah, there's lack of that administration hero is a uh, huge, huge hit. I need to buy this one to improve my happiness or happiness approval. Same thing, different name. So, and that's a very important that um, get it from uh, this non-baryonic particles that's the tech you need to research for the uh, magnetic field generators basically in uh, multiplayer when you play the sooner you get that and uh, get it on all your systems the better because well, you'll be far far behind if you don't pretty much every single person gets it yeah plus now I basically have yeah, one turn one turn two turns to research so I can get some things to text in a turn so it's gonna happen probably here I'm gonna get uh, this is 40, this is 130, 170, so now 69, I might actually miss it by a bit, because I don't have this here and I don't have So late it's getting early. <laughs> it's actually half past four AM right now. Then that's uh, one thing. Yeah, we missed one point. Shit. <laughs> but it will roll over for the next technology soon. Uh, Netherlands. I live in the Netherlands. Oh, they are not invading the systems. But they, they probably would not be surprised if they had a stronger fleet. Yeah, they have a stronger fleet. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I do have a hero there, so I should be able to. Mm, depending on what they, what weapons they have. <laughs> well, and of course they ran away. <laughs> That's typical. Yeah, but they are much slower, so I'll be able to catch them in this system. Yeah, warm, so yeah, but the whole diplomacy thing is now in is now improved by quite a bit and Well, and I need you to build this. I'm 
Okay, so I can buy this. I can raise taxes some more. <laughs> well, actually, I do want to catch them so I get some more experience. Because, uh... Why are you not building anything? I just... Okay, we got this. Influence is not necessary. I could use this in the system. It's gonna give some extra experience. Okay, uh, yes. It's one turn. System, so we, so I, uh, so the fleet will intercept anything that moves in, and yeah, and nothing can move out of the system when you uh, intercept. Tiny tundra. What's next? Tiny deserted cities. Yeah, I can go with that. the first thing you do there you go you put engines on uh, colony ships it, uh, yeah it increases the build time by a, a single turn in most cases uh, but yeah it increases your range and speed well range always have the same range you increase your speed and yeah depending on where you need to settle with your second colony ship, uh, yeah, it can save you quite a few turns. And with yeah, I don't. United Empire does not have really that problem because uh, with production, because you can just buy it before you need to do it. I'm getting tired. <laughs> Turn 50, 48. Did I? Yeah, you're right. There you go. That's gonna be four turns now, oh, or 404 gold. Gold dust. Same thing. I've been playing a lot of Civ 5 lately, so it's it's just gold. <laughs> it's yellow. It's gold. System. Uh, yeah. This cost minus two. Yeah. Okay. Well, hopefully. So one, two, three, four. Yeah, he already has one, two, three, four, five, six systems. Ooh, and last one. There you go. Or the pirates say they used kinetic weapons. I got some kinetic defense on my ship, so yeah, max range. I don't minus QC. Next base, uh, we'll go with 
overlock them. Although, I might actually go short circuit, but it counters defense and this is an offensive card. Yeah, this should be... Yeah, that's what I thought. Deflected efficiency. Uh, yeah, this you should be able to do this even much faster. Because it takes about 20 seconds per phase now, so... And you have to now... Uh, and there's a report... There's no point. <laughs> Later at least, in the game. Because, yeah, you... If you have to go through a system where the AI, for instance, or someone has parked Ted Fleets, that you're gonna waste when you're gonna spend 10 minutes on fighting. So, yeah. There should be an option to just go and do it faster. And we can crank up the taxes then. There we go. Even more. Mm, this guy is almost done. Uh, basically, the aim is to go with United Empire to, I think, get to about 70 something percent. That's where the bonus ends, because they do get uh, production bonuses. With oh, excuse me, with um, Arctic. <coughs> the downsides uh, is uh, new systems will just have a horrible time. <laughs> but you can drop it for a turn or something. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm still learning how to play United the Pirate. Yeah, I'm apparently sucking at it hard. Well, that's turn 50. We know you have a score of 212, which means I'm really sucking. <laughs> I should be at around 500 by now. Seriously. Uh, Alright. Yeah, that's gonna put me... New engines. Mm -hmm. I have a quite a few small and tiny planets. Well, I think I did something. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Thanks. Yeah, this game would take a while anyway. I think there's hundred, hundred, hundred uh, huge galaxies, eighty systems plus thirty percent, hundred something systems, hundred something systems. I think over a hundred systems. So. And you need 75% to win or kill off all of their... <laughs> Excuse me. Home systems. United Empire Technology. Can 
consumption psychology. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I got those lasers. I do have destroyer hulls. Let's see if we have anything more useful. This, this, and this as well. There you go. They are willing to uh, trade me Hyperimium plus yeah for some dust. I'm doing 52. Yeah, I'll get it. And now the question is, yeah, I'm getting the dust water here and the Hyperimium here as well. I'm actually getting it everywhere. That's interesting. That's interesting. Okay, that's how it works. Okay. Yeah, well, two techs. Now, uh, 186. Okay. Yup, 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 yup. Thank you, finally. <laughs> it's late as hell, but yeah, that should. That hero should be always <laughs> there. And this is a small tundra. A tundra gets a full production bonuses. I'd rather have this 150. Mm -hmm. It's actually interesting to see uh, now, at least in this release, this is beta 5.1.2, I think, to see how the AI values what. It's actually the first patch that has decent diplomacy, or the AI actually offers stuff, and does any actual trades. But earlier, they, there was nothing like that. They are they either valued science too much or didn't value money, uh, dust at all, money. So. Anything else? Nope. I'll go with this one. Mm -hmm. And we need to make a few of those as well. And those are expensive. Yeah, this guy should level up slowly and give me the production boost I need. Because uh, right now I am far, far behind on everything. I totally forgot. 
forget about the scout. Uh, I'm getting tired. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, I can just let you out. I don't need to blockade the system anymore. I can go out. Yeah, there you go. There he goes. He's gone. That actually makes them angry if you keep a uh, system blockaded and they get their ship caught in it. Double, okay. Let me see. Eighteen. Why suddenly so little? Yeah, the game is beginning to act up. Okay. Ooh. Horatio. Ah, yeah, because they built all those improvements. Mm -hmm, everything is doing science. Mm, okay. To go. Some changes. Coalition. I'm thinking I should have gone with um, industry to dust conversion from the very start. The science thing is probably not the best I can do. Downloads. Nice, so it's not being updated yet. Because I'm actually. Uh, was it 16 hours from. 16 hours. Approximately 16 hours. Let's see. Horatio. Okay, I'm cool with that. Yeah, this guy got more. And this guy got a level. Finally.
crafting. Plus nine, okay. That looks much better. Yeah, I guess you need to crank up. Yeah, that's a different start. Next game I'll know better. Now oh, you have to decrease the taxes and anyway. Taxes were too high at start and now I'm behind on everything. But now I know. Much better. Uh, no, 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 no. This and then this. Plus 20%, that's plus 8, and 25% of 8 is 2 exactly. Uh, yeah, but I'm not getting from taxes. So, no, no thank you. And this system. Anti-matter on this. Yeah. Let's see. Plop. Those guys. Let's see what's on the other side. Okay, that's the Horatio. Whoa, ho, ho. They grow fast. Yeah, it does. It's not looking too good. <laughs> Where are these cell phones? Where? <laughs> Technologies I want and nothing. That's a setback. It's a huge, huge setback. Yeah, but they value even more. Yeah, I cannot change for tax and it's uh, part. Uh, yeah, I don't think I can make up for it. Mm -hmm. Let's just play around. I'll probably be going to bed soon. <laughs> Yeah, I've been uh, up and about since I don't know, and I've been streaming for the better part of the night and day as well. We've been playing Sim Five. Yeah. 
Ah, okay, let's do one more turn. And I'm actually gonna call it because I'm just making too many mistakes. <laughs> Sorry. Just <laughs> brain not working. Yeah, if you wanna see better performance, you can check out my YouTube channel. I have a few. I have uh, there's about an hour and a half of gameplay. There. Yeah, thanks. You have a good night as well, I guess. You're welcome. Yeah, I'll be showing more endless space. Uh, the uh, link is if you scroll down on this channel in the uh, info tab. It should be there on the Twitter, Raptor and uh, YouTube channel. The link is there. Banner you just press. Anything. Press it and it will take you to my YouTube channel. There's a much better game there and it's on the hardest difficulty as well, so. Much better performance there. <laughs> and much better quality as well because I'm. Uh, that was not a live playthrough, I could just. I just pre recorded it before. Okay, well, thanks for watching. I'm gonna end it here. Is my brain just is not working? Yeah, and uh, I'll be definitely streaming more of this. Uh, yeah, seventh place. So that's what you get for playing so late. Uh, thanks for watching again. I hope to see you around. Yeah, you too. Good night.